Hi guys, today I'm starting recording my course about advancing JavaScript. Don't punish me for my uh, not excellent English. This is my first experience, uh, but never mind. Let's get started. So uh, to make it done, uh, we need to install uh, Node.js first of all. Uh, currently, we have uh, 16th version as our LTS LTS release. So uh, just install it on your operation system. It could be uh, Linux, uh, Windows, Mac OS. Uh, it's, it, it doesn't matter, actually. Yeah, also, you need some kind of text editor, code editor uh, to write some code uh, to use your integrated terminal. Uh, I would recommend you to download Visual Studio Code. Or also, you can use uh, WebStorm or IntelliJ IDEA or um, some other IDE from from JetBrains, but it's paid. So uh, Visual Studio Code, it's open source and free. You can use uh, it, but uh, I will show my demo in WebStorm. So uh, uh, afterwards, uh, you need to create uh, some folder. I just created it on my desktop and called Advanced JavaScript. So uh, after that, just open this folder uh, in your Visual Studio Code. Uh, here you have your internal terminal. And after uh, Node.js installation, uh, you can uh, run command Node.js node-v uh, and uh, you will see current version. As a software developer, I have been working with a bunch of uh, versions. I will switch my version to 16 in the next video, so uh, never mind. So basically, you should see here some kind of version that Node.js in, is currently installed. Uh, I will switch to my main code editor. Here we have opened uh, same folder, and uh, I will simply create a JavaScript file. And and I will call it main JS. So uh, this is it. Uh, we are ready to go, and uh, we can write our uh, first line of code with some standard hello world uh, message. Yeah, and uh, inside our terminal, how we can run it. So we can do it simply like that. So run main by uh, name of the file. Pressing enter and we have hello world here. Uh, if we switch back to Visual Studio Code and open the same file, uh, we can uh, run with uh, F5 uh, button on your keyboard and uh, just select Node.js as an environment and and uh, you can run uh, our script uh, using internal debugger but also you can use same approach uh, with a terminal you can run node main as you wish so basically we have uh, both options here so uh, i will be uh, executing my script uh, in the terminal each time, but uh, you can use um, F5 command to run your script, or you can, if you're using some JetBrains CD, you can stop configuration to uh, run and debug your code uh, in the same way like in Visual Studio Code. So basically, this is uh, all about our preparation, and let's get started with uh, actual coding in the next video. Thank you.